powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jay Cohn. And I'm Janelle Slade. It's election day across Montana as voters decide which candidates will advance to the general election in November. The polls still open for another two and a half hours as Montanans cast their votes in this important 2018 primary election. And we can tell you that as of late this afternoon, county election officials tell us that more than 38,000 absentee ballots have already, be turn, have already been turned in here in Yellowstone County. At the county central polling place down, down at Metro Park, candidates were still out actively campaigning because as we've seen in the past, every single vote counts. Well, we've got team coverage of today's primary from one side of the state to the other to track the votes and bring you reaction from candidates. And we begin tonight here in Billings where Senate hopeful Russ Fagg's campaign party is underway. Hi, I'm Mike Dennison, MTN's chief political reporter. We're here at the Radisson Colonial Hotel in Helena, where Republican U.S. Senate candidate Matt Rosendale and his supporters will be gathering tonight to watch the primary election returns. Rosendale is one of four Republicans vying for the GOP nomination to challenge Democratic incumbent U.S. Senator John Tester. The others are State District Judge Russell Fagg of Billings, Big Sky businessman Troy Downing, and State Senator Al Oshesky of Kalispell. Rosendale is the state insurance commissioner and is considered the likely favorite. But with a four-way primary, we'll be watching the results to see what happens. I'm Samantha Harrelson. I'm here at the Highlands Golf Club in Billings, where Senate candidate Russ Fagg and his supporters will gather tonight as the polls close and those results start to come in. Of course, they hope this is the scene of the celebration tonight. Today, the former judge hit the streets making one last push before the polls close tonight at 8 p.m. I'm Zoe Zandor at the Heenan campaign here at the Billings Depot. And Heenan was busy today answering phone calls at his campaign phone bakes, making sure voters got their ballots in on time. And speaking of on time, he headed over to the Metro Park and cast his ballot. The said to be front runner, local business owner and local attorney hopes to meet Congressman Gene Forte in the general elections and hopes to be the first Democrat to win a seat since 1997. Hello, I'm Don Fisher outside the public house in Missoula, and we're just getting ready to go into Grant Kerr's election night party. And he is tweeting out to his followers last minute as the polls are getting ready to close, asking for support, saying it's going to be a very close race. And those that are close to the election are thinking that him and John Heenan, the attorney out of Billings, are kind of the front runners for this race. So we should be in for quite a show as those numbers come in later on tonight. Reporting in Missoula, Don Fisher, MTN News. Thanks, Don. Later tonight, we'll also be catching up with the campaigns of Troy Downing and Kathleen Williams. Uh, they're having their campaign parties in Bozeman. And be watching just after 8 o'clock tonight, we'll get our first look at the early absentee ballot results when they start to roll in. Now, those numbers will also be updated online at KTVQ.com. You can expect extended coverage tonight at 10 with a reaction from campaigns around the state. MTN political analyst Dr. David Parker will be helping us analyze tonight's election results. And we caught up with him just a few minutes ago to find out how he sees this U.S. Senate and House race panning out tonight. Uh, uh, not your typical primary election. And on that note, how we should we as viewers interpret all this information that we're going to see tonight? The first thing I think viewers need to understand is primary elections tend to be low information. So the first thing that's interesting about this election is we have two very competitive races. We have the House Democratic candidate race for the nomination to run against Giaforte, and we have the Republican Senate race for the nomination to run against Tester. Both of those races have been relatively high information. So the first thing, voters have more information to make decisions. Guess what happens? Voter turnout should go up above that 35% average we normally see. The second thing you have to understand is that the polls are going to close tonight at 8. Typically, historically here in Montana, the first results from a big county, Lewis and Clark County, which is Helena, come in about 8.30, 8.45. Those results are interesting because they're going to give us our first look at a big county, an urban county, and in 2012, the person that won that race for the Democrats in the House race became the nominee. The person that won that race in the House race in 2014 for the Republicans became the nominee, Kim Gillen and Ryan Zinke. So I'll be looking at that very, very closely to see who's coming out of there because this will give us a very early sign of how the race is full, uh, unfolding on both the Republican and Democratic side. 
All right, thanks so much, David Parker. We'll be checking in with Dr. Parker as the results come in throughout the evening. And again, we should see our first returns just around 8 o'clock tonight. Again, when those early absentee results are released, be watching for those just around 8 o'clock tonight in a special report. In other news tonight, the Cascade County Sheriff's Office has recovered a body from the Missouri River just north of Great Falls. Authorities say the female body was found near Ryan Dam Monday afternoon. Now, the body is now at the state crime lab in Missoula for autopsy and identification. Sheriff Edwards says investigators do not know yet if the body is that of Brittany Roberts. Roberts was reported to have fallen into the river near Black Eagle Dam more than six weeks ago. In Yellowstone National Park, a second woman, the same location in just three days, now recovering after an accidental elk encounter. We're told a cow elk with a calf nearby attacked 53-year-old Penny Bear, who is from Cypress, Texas. It happened this morning, again, behind the Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel. As Bear attempted to back away, she says the elk pursued her and struck her with its legs, both in the head and torso. Bear was taken by ambulance then to the Livingston Memorial Hospital. Now, it's not known if this is the same elk, perhaps, that was involved in Sunday's incident near the Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel, which seriously injured a Mammoth Hotel employee. Park officials say it is common for cow elk to aggressively defend their newborn calves, sometimes hiding them near buildings and cars. A masked gunman tries to rob a Billings casino, but storms out when he doesn't get the attention he wants. What happened last night at the Sunset Casino on Broadwater Avenue here in Billings. A man entered the business with a bandana over his face just after 11 p.m. He was armed with a rifle and shouted, this is a robbery. The suspect then ordered three patrons in the casino to put their cell phones on the floor. But when he realized a casino employee was not present, the patrons say he appeared frustrated and fled out the front door. Now police searched the area but were unable to find the suspect. Still to come on tonight's 530 News, a new type of cancer treatment now offers an entirely new blueprint to building a recovery plan. And tonight in sports, this Duke basketball player is crossing Montana right now. Scott shows us why he's Q2's Athlete of the Week. And coming up in the weather, we're tracking some showers and thunderstorms along the state line with Wyoming. Could mean some bigger thunderstorms, not so much for Billings, but for the southeast corner of the state. Could see some giant thunderstorms explode there. We'll tell you all about it in a few more minutes. You're watching MTN News with Jay Cohn and Janelle Slade. Storm tracker weather with Bob McGuire and sports with Scott Green. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. 